So today I want to talk about why I go from a summer home to a winter home. What factors are involved in the decision making of when and where. I talk about transferring my uh, Planet Fitness membership from one city to another city. And I know if you're in a home, you don't have to deal with it. But us nomads, we do have to have to decide if we're if we're going to transfer at all. And if you are going to transfer, why are you going to do it? So I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to go into great detail. If you're confused about Planet Fitness and what they have to offer and why, the who, who what, when, where, why, stay tuned. I've got that going on. So let's get going with some letters. From Karen Montana 8567. She asked, now that you're in your summer home, how long will you stay? And what factor makes you decide to leave for Tucson or Quartzsite? Always the weather, always. Unless I have uh, van trouble and I go down to Tucson to get it fixed. If I can, I'll drive down there to do it. But always the climate, always the weather. That was the reason I came up when I did. I knew, I watched the weather and I knew that I start seeing day after day after day, it's edging up to the 90s. And then when it starts edging up to the high, a mid to higher 90s, it's time to leave. In fact, I will tell you, I thought I might be, because it was still April, I thought maybe I might be one of the, the first ones to come to Flagstaff. Not so. There's all kinds of van dwellers here. Lots of RVs. There's one that I talked to at the gym and he says, oh, I've been here uh, from Yuma. I came up like three or four weeks ago. So I probably could have come up earlier, but I do enjoy Tucson, but it's always the climate. Nomads move with the weather, usually. That's the deciding factor. Now, when I leave for Tucson, come autumn, <clears throat> getting towards winter, Tucson will start getting cool again, not until the first week of November. But here's the kicker with Flagstaff and Tucson. There's always an overlap. Like in October, it's really gonna be cold here, but it's really gonna be hot down there still. We're still gonna have really hot days in the in, in mid um october oh in tucson it really i remember one summer it did not start cooling down until almost the end of november it just depends on the year and then they say there's you know this big climate change well i remember um there were summers that stopped mid-October. It really just depends. Um, it's, it varies from year to year. So we'll see how everything comes out um, come October when I start realizing, well, it's time to go south. Because last year when I left, oh my gosh, um, I think I realized I stayed about two days too long. I'm serious. The morning I left Flagstaff, I was like S -s 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 -s, trying to put gas in my car and I couldn't even do the windows. I was freezing. And um, I, I'm in my mind, I thought I left uh, too late, a couple days too late. Well, when you're going down elevation, I, in about an hour, I was warm again because I hit Camp Verde going south and on 17, yeah. So. I knew it was just a matter of an hour of traveling that I would um, be okay again. Yeah. So that's why. And that was a really good question. Thank you. Here's a really good question. This is from KB7357. She says, you look fantastic. Thank you so much. Look, you're back at PF, Planet Fitness. 
I have a question about Planet Fitness. If you live in Tucson six months a year and Flagstaff six months, do they just transfer your home base? Um, home base Planet Fitness. And how does that work? Let me tell you how it works. Okay. I am, my home base right now is in Tucson. Okay. It took a good month or, and, or more to actually transfer from Flagstaff, my membership from Flagstaff to um, Tucson. Now, why would I even transfer? Why would I transfer? Because if I want to change my membership in any way, I've got to do it at my home base. So I wanted to transfer. It doesn't cost you anything to transfer your home base. It just is a hassle. And your last home base has to transfer you. I know, I know, it didn't used to be that way. So I transferred. I wanted my home base to be in Tucson at this one that I really enjoyed at this one particular Planet Fitness. Okay, because Tucson has, all over the city, has Planet Fitnesses. I might want to go to a different one. So what I wanted to do was upgrade while I was in Tucson. In order to upgrade my membership, I needed to do to to make Tucson my home base so that they could handle it for me. Cuz it would be really hard for Flagstaff to do that for me. To call them up, hey, I want to, you know. Okay. So now I'm in Flagstaff. Now, there's only one Planet Fitness in Flagstaff. I don't want to visit anymore. So why would I want to spend $26 a month when I can just spend $10? I weigh it out, right? It's only $10 per month. So I need to transfer my membership to Flagstaff so that I can downgrade. I want to downgrade my membership. So probably in about a week, I will probably have to call my home base in Tucson and say, try it again. Cause I already tried it and they couldn't do it. I know, I know. So we'll let them do it. They say, oh, you can do it online. I've tried it online. It doesn't work. It's, it's a good, it's a, it's kind of a glitchy system that I'm noticing. Um, a lot of you, if you live in houses, why would you be transferring your membership? You wouldn't, but us travelers, we have to deal with it. So we're the ones that know where the glitches are. You know, we're the ones that know that. Okay, now, <clears throat> I want to, and I don't want to cancel because then if I join again, then I have to, they'll, they'll, they'll hit me with another yearly fee. And my, I've already paid a yearly fee not too long ago. So I want to do this. I want to transfer it. But here's another kicker, everybody. By contract, if you have a, a, a black card membership, that means you can visit any Planet Fitness across the country. But here's in the contract, if, you, if, it, if it isn't your home base, you can only go legally 10 times. What if you're gonna stay in that city? And I will tell you, a lot of people said, I didn't experience it, but people were telling me, oh, I could only go 10 times and I remember thinking, well, that's weird because I never experienced that. Really? Well, I'll tell you, when I was in Cheyenne, Wyoming, when I walked in and I showed them my card, they said, oh, you need to sign right here. And you need to, and they were quite, quite strict. They were like, like that, right? And they said, you can only come 10 times, that's it. 10 times, that's in the contract. So please know that that's in the contract. Now, when I talked to them in Flagstaff, I, I, they remembered me. And it was so nice. They were so welcoming. They remembered me. And there were a couple other people in the gym that remembered me and came over and talked to me. There was, it was very welcoming the first day. I got here on a Friday. And Saturday morning, I was in Planet Fitness. And I was like, you know, you feel a little bit, you know, fish out of water. You're trying to acclimate. And, um, and when I did leave Flagstaff last year, it was quite traumatic. Um, it just, we'd just broken up and there was a lot of memories 
coming back. Oh yeah, I was a little bit sad. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta get over, I gotta work through this, right? And I'm still working through it. But, uh, so that was very nice. And they were welcoming and I let them know what was going on. I want to transfer up here. And they said, oh, you can go as much. Well. We know you. You can go as many times as you want to. We don't worry about that. Because some gyms don't. But I did mention to them, I said, well, the thing is, is that you're the only Planet Fitness. So I would probably like to drop down to just a regular membership, $10. Because I also want to join another gym. So I'll have two. But 10 I can afford an extra $10. But not $20, $26, and then joining another gym. Now, why do I want to join another gym? Because the showers here in Flagstaff are absolutely minimal. They're minimal and they're substandard. It's a little box with a flimsy um, a shower curtain and there's no place to dress. You just got to plop your stuff down outside of your shower and it could get wet. It's, it, no. Tucson is so much better. I know everything's better in Tucson, right? Um, you know, I love it. Well, the, it, I'll tell you the Planet Fitnesses are better. They're all really good. So anyways, um, that's, and I'm going to join another gym. I'm taking the time right now to visit Saturday before I went um, to the uh, hotel. Um, my child came up and she drove up and, and um, spent two days with me. And, uh, but I did get one of them visited in the morning and I will visit the rest in the next few days and I won't make a decision until then. And I just had my shower because I was in a, in a hotel with, with my child. And <laughs> uh, so I don't have to wash my hair for a good week or week and a half. So I've got that time to, to, to decide which one I want to join. And I'm going to visit them all. I visited the one I visited on Saturday morning. It's like, no, there, it's no better. And it was so much more expensive. And it's no better than, than some of the others I've seen. So, well, that's my answer. That's the way Planet Fitness works. You have to, you join and you have a yearly membership. And I believe it's like $42, $45 a year. And if you have just a regular membership, it's $10 a month is all. That's pretty darn good. But if you want to go with the black card, it's like $26, $25 something, $26. You get the massage chairs, you get tanning if you want all that stuff. Um... And there's a black card area where there's couches. You can go in and relax. And you can also visit any other um, uh, facility in the country. And with a black card, you can bring in a guest. Okay? With a regular membership, you just it's $10. You just come in. And there's no, none of those other facilities. Now, let's, do, let's go even further. A lot of you have silver sneakers. And you say, well, as long as you have, you're on Medicare, you can have silver sneakers. That's wrong. Look, it is. I, I, I've, I've had to deal with this and I've had to talk about this. Now, if you have a Medicare Advantage plan, you have to have an Advantage plan to get silver sneakers. Okay. I was, and I, I, I think I, I talked about this last year. I wanted, I want silver sneakers, right? Well, I realized that, and it was a big one. I, what was the name? I, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna um, uh, talk about them. But they were gonna screw me over, and I have thus heard so many of these advantage plans. These, these, um, they screw you. And he, they were gonna screw me. They sent me a letter and said something. I go, what? Well, I got it right on the phone, and I said, oh my gosh. I go cancel me now and I want a cancellation number now because I'm not you you're not going to run me through the, the the ringer here and I'm not even going to go into what they what they were going to do and I said there's no way I don't want you it hadn't gone into effect it doesn't go into effect until January 1st and this was in uh, the this was mid November and I said get me out of here now. I want to cancel. It took, it took a good hour transferring me around, but I finally got a cancellation number and I said, no more. 
I thus um, I know some of you are going to say my my advantage plan is perfect. Well, okay, okay, but there are ways that they're screwing people over. I have Medicare. I'm happy with Medicare, and guess what? I can pay for my gyms. I don't need silver sneakers to do this for me. I don't need them. Um, no, I don't want it, and I can pay for it myself. My life is simple. I'm minimal, and I like it to be simple. I don't want all this complication going on all around me here. Oh, you got to do this, and then you got to do this, and then you got to pay for this. No, I can pay for my own gym. I know what the cost is, and I don't want them screwing with my life. And so, yeah, I'm glad I did. I'll never go with an advantage plan ever. I don't need them. I'm not on medications. I don't ever plan on going on medications. Um, no. So there you go. Uh, if you have an advantage plan, yes, you can go with silver sneakers and you can go to the gym. Okay. You can, and they'll pay for it. That's if that's your life and that's what you want to do, then you do it. Um, but I did get another message not too long ago that said, why would you even want to transfer? They'll just transfer you in silver sneakers. You know what? Not all of us have silver sneakers. Okay. So I know a lot of you do. I chose not to because I didn't want the complications they were going to add on to my life. So no. Um, but that's how Planet Fitness works. And I'm happy to go with a $10 membership. $10 a month? Oh, no big deal. No big deal. $10. It's almost like what used to be a dollar. Or $10 is like what used to be a dollar. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, what else about Planet Fitness? <sighs> Probably when I go back to Tucson, when the weather changes, like I just previous, previously talked about, I'll probably up my membership. It doesn't cost me a thing to up my membership. They just do it. And then when I want to bring it down and transfer, they do it. So I think it's important for me to transfer so that I can, um, so that's my home base. And if I have issues, I can talk to them about it, that I don't have to call Tucson. If I'm up here, why would I want to call Tucson and say, oh, I got, the, you know, yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's uh, my explanation. Oh, you guys, thank you for being with me. Thank you for caring about me. Thank you for um, just being loyal and watching watching what I my episodes, what I offer you. Let me know in comments what you might want to know. Ask me some questions, what subjects you want to hear about. I'm open for anything, even if it's something personal. I just really appreciate all of you guys. I really do. So, so... Why don't you look down below and see if you're subscribed? You know, um, YouTube has been playing around with subscriptions. A lot of you say, I was subscribed, but all of a sudden I'm not subscribed anymore. They're kind of, it's kind of a glitch going on. I don't know what game is going on, but would you please check to see if you're subscribed and hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. It really does. Any YouTube creator, it helps them out if you subscribe to them. Let's see, what else? Oh, if you want to go on minivanlee.com, if you want to give me a small gift, oh, even a small gift, um, very small, $5, it just helps support me and keeps me going with my videos. And it's not uncommon for people to kind of support and uh, give a little gift here and there to their favorite YouTube creators. So if you want to do that, go to minivanlee.com. Really appreciate it. And if you can't do it, that's okay. I love you. Okay. Till tomorrow, everybody. Bye now. Bye.